last time on Gross Sailing, we started first improvements to Nomad and got the boat ready for sailing around New York City on a long weekend with our friends. Former Hurricane Harvey passed over the area, our excuse to be super lazy and chill on board. The sun came out the last day and treated us to an amazing sail back home. We enjoyed a barbecue on board while sailing through the East River. Just finished eating on time before the US Coast Guard boarded us. We hold out Nomad today. Let's try it once again. We hold out Nomad now and we're gonna start winterizing our boat. We just put in our six alternator, it should work now. Benny? <laughs> <laughs> After we fixed our alternator for good, we moved her to Morgan Marina, a family owned marina only about 30 minutes from our home. We've had some exciting times docking the boat. Wind and tide were pushing Nomad away from the dock in the narrow and shallow basin. Fortunately, they sent somebody to give us a hand with the lines to pull us in. <laughs> the engine oil was still hot, perfect timing. I had prepared everything before and I did my first oil change ever. Hee ha! Don't I have an amazing wife? Supposedly, only boats up to 14 feet wide fit into the crane. Nomad is 14.16 feet. They gave it a try and it was a close call. They also had to loosen the backstay to make the boat fit, but it worked just fine in the end. We mentioned strong growth in Raritan Bay, didn't we? Look at this. Yummy! What a beautiful day to do boat work. Look at this. Sun is shining, about 20 Celsius, not too hot, not too cold. Just awesome. Inspired by an accessory of a, a different sea strainer, I'm going to build a flush cap today. I'm going to drill a hole in here and then I'll connect this hose so that we can easily um, connect the hose to winterize our engine and generator when we are on the heart. Okay, let's see how that went. Woohoo! Now we just need some silicone or any other sealant so that this is Flesh and nice and we'll screw this thing on the other side and we do have a cap that we can connect the garden hose to. Simple enough. That which gives us a nice 
nice seal. The silicone needs a few hours to cure. Now we have time to actually get a garden hose that we can connect and take care of some other items on the boat. Hmm. Come on, take a closer look. <laughs> look what we found. It's a seacock, not connected to anything. And the manual says it's a seawater food pump intake, cooler drainage, water hazard. That thing needs to go, definitely. Now we convert our third bathroom to a storage locker. <laughs> the trapper! Shit, it's one of those. Okay, so our flush cap system is working. Uh, we have the flush cap on the sea strainer, which is um, sucking in the water from or through the cap instead of the through hole, the seawater. Um, this hose is now connected with our uh, bucket down here. This is to not over flush the engine with water, but there will be fresh water is coming in from the hose and it's uh, being uh, sucked in into the generator again. And um, what we will do later on is we will put um, antifreeze in this little bucket and then it will uh, just flush through the seawater uh, intake from the generator as well as with the engine because we have the same sea strainer we can just quickly change the flush cap and then we're good. So now we have this little nice thing and it's a very easy system actually uh, without a lot of effort. Awesome! So we have just removed our empty holding tank. I mean I looked inside it really was empty. I have no idea where all this shit came from. It's super disgusting. Let's try to get this motherfucker out. Well, at least we got some space in the bathroom now. This thing is gonna have an end now. This was a shitty episode. <laughs> Literally. But no shit next time, promise. Okay, I'll I promise. I'll try. So come and join us for our next episode as we are going to Annapolis, one of the major sailing cities on the US East Coast. Uh, we're gonna show you around and strike some awesome deals. Very exciting, it's our second time in Annapolis. <laughs>